Hi, I'm Mike Corende, Trailer System Trainer. I'm here at the Gary Operating Center with Max Gonzalez, and we have a trailer here that was involved in a pretty good accident. So we've got a lot of repairs to do, uh, including half roof, nose rail damage, some panel damage, and some roof bows. So we're gonna be going through that in this video today. Our roof patch procedure can be found on SharePoint under System 71 Body. Be sure to take your before pictures and attach them to the work order. This video is gonna go through a little bit more than just a roof section, so I wanted to show you what this trailer looked like before. Don't forget to lock out, tag out the trailer, then place a prop stand under the kingpin, check it for level and support it, then cut your damaged roof at the front of the roof bow. Now you'll wanna shear off the rivet heads and cut some slices into the roof. Now that you've got all your strips cut, go ahead and grab a pry bar, peel those pieces of roof material off of the roof bows and drop them into the trailer. Since this unit had nose rail damage and some panel damage, now's a good time to shear the rivet heads off, punch them through, throw that nose rail into the trailer. Here's a look at the panel damage. The whole panel didn't need replaced, so we just cut out a section of it. I'll get back to that panel section after we install the nose rail. Now that we've fitted the nose rail and clamped it down into place, we wanna go ahead and drill a couple of holes and bolt it up so it stays in place. Now that the nose rail is secured, time to inspect the damaged roof bows and remove them and replace them with new roof bows. Be sure to secure that nose rail with the inner and outer plates and add that front roof bow. Now we can talk about that patch panel. Here we cut out a piece of panel material and overlaid it. Gives us an opportunity to get the measurements correct so that way we can get it bolted on, we can get it drilled out, and then we can get it riveted back into place. Of course, with the roof out of the way, now's a good time to do all your drilling. Just follow the holes that were already in the panel. We're going to take a look at securing the nose rail and our patch panel. After all the riveting's done, here's what the nose rail and our patch panel looks like. Now it's time to get out the foam tape and go all along the top rail. Now that the foam tape is installed, here's a look at that. We can get into our roof section. With that part complete, go ahead and apply two rows of 3M VHB tape to the new roof section seam edge. Now it's time to take your measurement to determine how much roof material you're going to need. Keep in mind, you're going to need an extra 5 inches at the front for when you install your roof stretch plates. With those measurements in mind, hopefully you've got a friend nearby to help you out. Roll this roof material onto the trailer, get it stretched out, measure it, then we're going to take a straight edge at the back set it down, secure it with some clamps if necessary, and make that nice straight cut. Now that that's done, you could pull your roof material forward and install the roof stretch plates. The roof edge scribing tool can be fabricated in-house. Here's a couple examples. Or you can use a tape measure. All you want to do is you start at your seam where you cut the roof and go along the top rail making sure that there's a 3 8 of an inch overlap from the seam to the front of the trailer. Once that's complete, get out some vice grips, make sure you got plenty of them, and go along the edge of the roof and use vice grips to clamp that roof material to the top rail down tight. Moving to the opposite side of the trailer, we're gonna mark that roof edge 3 8 of an inch from the edge of the top rail. 
This fabricated tool can be used to lightly score the roof material or you can use a marker if that helps. Once that's done, now it's time to shear off that excess roof material. And that, my friends, is how you get your 3 eighths of an inch overhang on both sides of the trailer. Let's get that clamped down as well. Go to the rear of the trailer and secure our new roof material to our existing roof material. Please remember to apply Sikaflex to at least three inches on the left and the right side of the top rail as well. With our roof section installed, we're gonna go ahead and fasten that new roof section using three rivets in the top rail on the left and right side. Now let's take a look at our top rail hole punch tools and hole finder. Use your hole finder tool and a hammer to mark the holes in the roof sheet. That way you can drill them out. When we're talking about drilling into the roof material, into the top rail, where the top rail has existing holes. We just don't want to drill new holes in addition to the holes that are already in the top rail. And here's what it looks like with the rivets installed. Now that the roof section is secured at the rear, let's go back up front to our stretch plates, install the come-alongs, and go ahead and tighten up the roof just enough to where it has a little bit of bounce in it. Because the section was so large, we will now go inside the trailer, slightly push up on the roof, and caulk the roof bows. The next step in the process would be going along the left and right side of the trailer, marking the holes in the roof sheet using your fabricated hole finder tool and a hammer. Then go along both sides of the trailer using your punch bit or drill bit, drop in the rivets, and then squeeze them with a rivet squeeze gun. Now that you're up front, you can relax tension on the come-alongs and remove the stretch plates. Our top rail had holes already. Our new nose rail does not. So we have to use our hole punch tool or a drill to make those holes drop in rivets and squeeze them tight. Once that's buttoned down, it's time to roll the roof edge all around. And here's what a rolled roof edge should look like all the way around. If you haven't done so already, connect your lights and test them to make sure they're working properly and seal the roof section seam using Sikaflex. Here's a look at the after shots at the front of the trailer, what we got done up top. Last but not least, go inside and if you had to remove any damaged plywood, replace it. And don't forget to take your after pictures and attach them to the work order. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your training team.